predictive analysis in electrical distribution systems with the presence of distributed generation by Gonzalo Lopez and William Woman. Following the agenda, we will start with motivation. Motivation. Power grids use a state estimation to predict the behavior of the power system against the storms and events that may occur during operation. Also, incorporating non-conventional renewable energy sources into the distribution network poses several challenges. For example, the bidirectional power flows cause protections of normal operations. Furthermore, the use of power converters may affect the quality and reliability of the system as they can generate harmonic signals. Abstract. In this project, a predictive analysis of a distributed generator system represented by the Lucas New Modules of the Smart Grid Laboratory of the Universidad Tecnica de Cotopaxi is performed. Through predictive analysis, the equipment failures can be predicted. Energy needs and electricity demands can be forecast, and operating costs can be reduced. The main contributions of this work are two. The first one. A distributed generation Lucas Neo microgrid is implemented and monitored in real time using ETABRT software. The ETABRT state estimation model is used to predict the system behavior in the case of different grid events. Methodology. Four states were developed. First, the identification, connection, and communication of each of the modules that make up the distributed generation system. Second, establish the monitoring and control of the Lucas Neal modules through ETAB real time. Third, simulate the local distribution system and the Lucas Neal distributed generation system. Fourth, Obtain the results of the system state estimation using the what if measures. Monitoring and control. The supervisory control and data quasi gen integrator module is used to communicate the Lucas Newell measures and ETAP real time. Furthermore, the Modbus communication protocol is used for monitoring through the AP addresses of each of the CMN Centrum Park 4200 meters. Finally, the OPC UA communication protocol is used for control through the digital inputs and outputs of the meters mentioned above. The distributed generation system includes the following. The electrical network is represented by the trifas source. The generator, Gen 1, represents the reversible hydroelectric power plant module of the Lucas Newell modules. The motor, MTR1, represents the synchronous generator module, in this case absorbing active power. The load, C1, is a resistance module. The load, C2, has resistance, inductance and capacitance elements. And it also consists of a power quality controller which compensates for the reactive power to maintain the power factor at inimitable levels. The transmission line consists of a 150 km line and an overcurrent relay. The circuit breakers, CB, are represented by the meters MM1 Siemens Centrum Park 4200. The bus bars represent the table bus bars of the Lucas Newell Major. 
the local distribution system model is developed in ETAP, which consists of three feeders that are Ambato, Mulalo, and Quevedo. Then, the GDLN2 distributed generator system is incorporated into the network. Results Scenario 1 Medium voltage grid contingency With the data capture in real time, we proceed to simulate the opening of the main breakers so that the Jin 1 generator is overloaded by 148.20% delivering an active power of 23.40 kilowatts and a reactive power of minus 6.97 kilowatts ampere reactive to supply the demand as a solution to the overload to renewable energy source are proposed with the photovoltaic plant supplying 21.32% and the wind power plant 35.38% of the demand. Scenario 2 Single fast fall on the transmission line. After capturing the real time data, we increase the load on consumer C2 so that the current increases. As shown in the graph, to 35.48% on line 1. So the overcurrent relay protects the transmission line. The chart shows how the relay acts and opens the circuit breakers CB1. Scenario 3 Demand increases in the industrial sector After capturing the data in real time, the incorporation of the MTR2 lot is simulated with an active power of 5 kW with an increase of 22.73% in demand so that the power of the network is 19 kilowatts. In addition, the coordination of protection is performed using the star protection and coordination measure of ETAP real time through the ANSI extremely inverse type of curve, for which a three fast fall is performed in bus file, where it is observed that the CV3 breaker is drifts first since it is the closest to the fall. Subsequently, the backup protection CV1 is drifts, which is responsible for fully protection the system and eliminating any type of fall. For this purpose, two Alstom P139 Overcurrent relays were used on circuit breakers CB1 and CB3. In addition, in the curve graph, it can be seen that relay 2 acts first and then relay 1, as well as the characteristic of each. Scenario 4 once the distributed generation GDLN system and the simulation of the local distribution system are completed, the points with the highest demand are verified and the data is captured in real time. In this case, the inclusion of the distributed generation system in the 13.8 kV bus corresponding to the Salcedo substation is simulated, where a voltage variation of 0.07% and an angle variation of 0.95% is obtained. Scenario 4. In the same way, but 
In this case, the inclusion of the distributed generation system is in the 13.8 kV bus corresponding to the Lasso substation, where a voltage variation of 0.001% and an angle variation of 0.58% is obtained. Scenario 4 Leak waves, but in this case, the inclusion of the distributed generation system is in the 13.8 kV bus corresponding to the lamina substation, where voltage variation of 0.28% and an angle variation of 1.53% is obtained. Conclusions the events allow observing how the system status variables behave as a function of load increase, failures, and throughout the incorporation of new generation sources. In this way, the network operator can use ITABAR T to plan, for example, a load shading or anticipate action in the case of any contingency. Since the highest demand points of the local distribution system were considered for the inclusion of the distributed generation system in the network, it is established that the most practical issue is the lasso substation due to the voltage and the phase angle being within allowable limits. Future works. Incorporate into the model the study of the generation management system through the automatic generation control, exchange scheduling, economic dispatch, load forecasting, and generation optimization. Acknowledgement. The Universidad Técnica de Cotopaxi is grateful for the donation of ITAP Power Lab and ITAP Real Time for the development of this project by ITAP Operation Technology Incorporated and Silva Tech, ETAP's authorized representative for Ecuador. Mm -hmm.